Many people packed the council chambers for the debate on gun legislation. Mayor Ken Miyagashima brought forward the resolution to urge state lawmakers to vote for what he called common sense gun laws for comprehensive background checks for all gun sales in New Mexico. If you can use technology on your side to determine whether or not a person's a convicted felon or someone who doesn't, is not allowed to have a weapon, um, and you can use technology to decipher that in less than two minutes, that's common sense. The majority of people who spoke at the meeting were against the resolution, including law enforcement officer Riley Mayer. Their deeming is going to be just a common sense measure, but the scope of that extends past that, and it's also the beginning of a slippery slope that leads towards reckless and uh, dangerous legislation. This is just the first step, so if we can nip it in the bud here, it's the best thing to do. The resolution does not enact any laws at the city level because New Mexico state law does not allow local government to enact firearms restrictions like those that exist in Chicago, Los Angeles, and Washington, D.C. Anna Ransom, the local volunteer leader for Las Cruces Moms Demand Action, says the resolution is a good first step. We've realized through research and through experience that local background, universal background checks, checks are the single most effective way to prevent gun violence. Um, and we really applaud the, our local city council for taking a stand, for making um, their opinion known and for trying to keep our city safe. City Councilor Greg Smith abstained from the vote because he wanted to table the vote to hold a work session to discuss options to prevent gun violence locally before passing the resolution. City Councilor Seal Levitino was the only vote against the resolution because she didn't think it would be effective. It doesn't solve the problem. Um, criminals are criminals for a reason. They don't follow the law. They're not going to go to gun shows. They're not going to go to gun shops because they know what's going to happen if they go in there. What happened at, at, in my neighborhood two weeks ago is a perfect example. Someone broke into our neighbor's house and stole guns. The guy was arrested in our backyard. Um, he wasn't going to go to a gun show to get his guns. It's, it's a meaningless piece of resolution. The resolution included an amendment that the legislation should not include requiring background checks for guns passed between family members. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.